Good evening, Council. Brent Lewis, your City Finance Director. Um, see, I'm smiling up here, which means we wouldn't have put you through this entire presentation if we couldn't build it. We don't think we could build this thing. Um, really, I have little update since the last time I was up here, and um, heck, almost a year ago. Um, total project budget still sitting around $85 million. Um, and we still plan on using a mixture of debt financing, cash, um, exist, existing cash that you have approved for the budget to move in towards this project and the private donations that we, that we just heard about. Um, you know, in regards to the cash that you've approved to move towards the project, we have moved that into a separate fund already. Um, and actually we've committed almost $8 million of that, of that $14 million um, already. So we've been, you know, covering some of these upfront costs with, with the cash, which makes sense. Um, regarding the bonds, so the bonds um, will, will be issued um, in two separate issuances, um, split between the office component and the community center. Um, those amounts will come to light once the GMP is established. Um, really at this point, it's, it's a mathematical calculation, um, which is why we've kind of combined, it, combined them all together. Um, but the timeline for the bonds and, and really to, uh, to look at how the bonds are going to be paid, that hasn't changed either. Um, the same revenues, those same revenue sources are going to be used. Um, TIF revenues from the site, existing TIF revenues around the city, hotel tax revenues, income tax. We've been talking about this for years and years. It, it really hasn't changed at all. The only thing that has changed is we probably now have a little bit more flexibility. Um, as you heard me say, probably the last time I was standing up here, um, we have a rather large general fund balance. Um, we're sitting at almost $18 million over our required reserve um, at the end of last year. So that's going to give us a little bit of increased flexibility with whatever you decide to do that. It may be additional parking. It may be paying down the debt. There's all kinds of options that we'll, that we'll continue to discuss. Um, as we get ready to, to finance this project. Um, the, the bond schedule essentially moving along at the same pace as the GMP. Uh, we're scheduled to go for bond ratings here in early March and um, released to mid-March. And then we're planning on going to sell bonds a couple days after your scheduled approval date of the GMP, the, the 29th of March. Um, if something changes, we are flexible in that schedule as well, but um, in order to in order to commit ourselves to some of these larger contracts, we have to have the funds in motion, um, which is which is why the deadline is so tight, and we're scheduled to go right after the the approval of the GMP. Um, with that, uh, just to point out on this chart, um, you see the X1 and the X2, you may be thinking what that is. Really, really what that is, is just where those revenues are first allocated. Um, you can kind of think about our funding stream as kind of a waterfall. So for example, the Kingsdale TIF revenues first allocated towards the King Kingsdale parking garage debt that we just issued a couple months ago. Um, any excess revenues are going to go towards the community center. Same with the office lease. The, the office lease revenues are expected to fully cover the amount of debt we're going to issue for, for the office component of this building. And it's also expected to generate excess revenues to go towards the community center as well. So that's kind of what those mean up there. 